So I've got my Grundig radiogram um, out of storage. This is the very big one that you've seen in, um, I think, one of my most popular videos on YouTube. But it's uh, fortunately not a high definition video, so I thought I'd make just a quick one because there's a few issues that I need to repair on this. Um, I'm going to clean the heads on the tape deck now, so that needs doing. Other than that, the tape deck is working fine. The radio section is working fine, however, the um, bass indicator, the string that makes it go up and down, has uh, come off. And the record player, uh, the cartridge has failed in the uh, record player. They often do when moisture gets to them and, and it's just come to the point where it's dead now. So I'm going to replace the cartridge in the record player, but it needs a new, uh, uh, needs new wire that goes inside the tone arm. So um, I'll need to order some wire to go into the tone arm. So what I thought I'd do is rather than just do that and not film it, I thought I'd do little chunk installments of um, just uh, servicing this, ready for it to um, be in top working condition again, um, as I've now had it, got it back out to storage again. So I'll just show you quickly how to clean the heads on this tape deck. Um, unfortunately, uh, you can't just remove this section here and clean the heads, which would make life a lot simpler. They they intended this deck to basically only be cleaned and serviced by a Grundig dealer. And then they would monitor or, or check for wear and tear on the guides, the guides and the tape heads and replace that as necessary. Because the problem with this tape recorder being an auto-reverse, not auto-reversing, sorry, being a bi-directional tape recorder, mean, meaning you can play and record in both directions. It means that the uh, tape guides are and tape heads are crucial in their, you know, in, in, in how parallel they are to the tape, because what happens is if the guides become worn or the heads become worn, then um, the tape will ride up and down the capstan and it won't play properly. And that's the biggest issue getting these tape decks working is basically uh, having the gu tape guides and the tape heads flat enough that the tape won't ride up and down. And of course there's tape tension and everything. So this deck was designed to go right back to a Grundig service uh, place to be cleaned and adjusted. So that's how you get to the heads is you have to take this whole cover off. And then what I'm going to do now is just put some alcohol on the cotton bud and just clean the tape guides and say it's come out of storage this is a record head for track 2 and as you can see it's quite orange this just lifts the tape away so it doesn't really require cleaning this is the play head and record head for side 2 this is the actual capstan. This is the pinch roller. So we'll just give that a clean. Uh, tape head for side one or track A. And the erase head for the same. So I shall use another bud. Until Basically, the uh, oxide stops coming off, the, the orange stops coming off everything. And again, the, keeping these clean is crucial for the thing to operate properly. And a lot of the tape, pre recorded tapes I used uh, through, de use on this date deck, are <clears throat> starting to wear anyway. So it means it probably needs cleaning much more regularly. As you can see, there's not so much coming off now. So I'll just dry it. So yeah, so basically that's clean. I'll give that a go. That's pinch runner a bit more of a clean. But these are quite a um, finicky tape deck. But if you get the if you get everything level and everything flush, and you set up the correct tension on the 
real tables here, then it will work fine. It just takes a long time for it to set up and you need a good service manual that tells you how to uh, basically set the whole thing up. As you can see there's quite a lot of oxide on that pinch roller. There we go, that's nice and feels nice and rubbery again. So we'll pop everything back on. So as I say, later on they um, made these so you could just detach this front bit here and you can then clean the heads to your heart's content easily. But unfortunately, I think the reason they didn't do that on this tape deck is because it's very finicky about being aligned. So once the tape deck started to get a bit muffled, I think they wanted you to take it in to be serviced so that uh, the wear and tear can be changed on the deck so that it still performs properly. Oh, I have to put this screw in at the back. It is just four screws once you've pulled the knobs off to um, get this front plate off, which is rather a pain because it would be much easier if you could just remove this. But as I said, I, I don't think they wanted you to, I wouldn't think they wanted you to take it in. <clears throat> there we are. So that's how you service uh, and clean the heads on, on that tape deck. So that should be running uh, fine now.